3D animation has been used to create movies and video games for more than three decades now. And one of the most important software for this is Autodesk Maya. The thing is, 3D software come, reach a certain extent, and then they go, like soft image, lightwave 3D, and so on. But Maya is still on top, especially for rigging and animation. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss some of the reasons why I think this is the case. But before we continue, I wanted to let you guys know about Class Creatives, today's video sponsor. Class Creatives has given us access to their top-ranked game design curriculum online. You can learn from experts in the field, who also have experience teaching at accredited universities. So, all courses are taught by seasoned professionals who have worked for companies like Disney Animation, Naughty Dog, Isomnia Games, Sony, Google, and much more. Even for beginners, the courses are incredibly simple to follow at your own pace, because they are all divided into small segments, however, they work together to make a thorough entire course. In their masterclass courses, the full character rigging workflow is covered from start to finish, including detailed best practices for custom rigging project needs. Character animation fundamentals emphasize the value of video references to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya in addition to Unreal Engine, so you can learn from professional 3D workflows utilizing industry standard software such as Maya, Unreal Engine, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and more. And in my opinion, the great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and at your own schedule. So we can get started today with a link in the description and use our unique code to receive a 25% discount of the pro subscription. First of all, the widespread use of Maya in the film industry is usually associated with its development in the film Dinosaur, released by Disney in the year 2000. And a few years later, when the company earned an Academy Award for Technical Achievement, it was used in films such as Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Spider-Man 2002, Ice Age, and Star Wars Episode II. And by 2015, Venture Beat Magazine stated that 10 films nominated for the Best Visual Effects Academy Award had used Autodesk Maya and that it has been used on every winning film since 1997, which is incredible to say the least. Maya has been around in the filmmaking industry for over 20 years now, and it has been used in multiple iconic movies and animations such as the Transformers franchise, the Ice Age franchise, Avatar, the Harry Potter movies, and so much more. As double negative VFX supervisor David Vickery said, Maya has been the linchpin for our pipeline since the Goblet of Fire. For this film, Maya helped us build a fully computer generated Hogwarts in a massive 3D environment, including a spectacular mountain range and an animated fire breathing dragon. Also, MPC VFX supervisor Greg Butler said, from the first film in the Potter series through to this film in the final shot, MPC has relied on Maya for modeling, rigging, and lighting, and the list of production goes on and on. This goes to show how professional, fast, and efficient Maya really is. Additionally, aside from being an industry standard software and relied on heavily in many movies and other productions, Maya is also known for its efficiency and proficiency for creating complex rigs. So being an industry software usually happens for legit and really powerful reasons, whether it be performance, ease of use, efficiency, or versatility. And Maya has it all. But what does that mean for rigging artists and animators? Since the process is quite tedious and more complicated from the technical aspect, well, Maya has a whole lot under its belt, especially when it comes to rigging. First of all, Maya's refined and advanced rigging tools include six advanced joint types, which are inverse kinematics and deformers for skin and muscles. It also has blend shapes and constraints, among others. These tools, as an example, make it easy to create intricate and sophisticated rigging setups that can simulate realistic movements compared to other packages. Alongside its advanced tools, there is MEL, which is standard for Maya embedded language. It is the scripting language at the heart of Maya, which provides an easy way to extend the functionality of the software. So everything you can do using Maya's graphical interface can be automated and extended using MEL. 
and this scripting gets heavily implemented when it comes to rigging because traditionally the process of manually building custom rigs in the software is very time consuming and expensive for those who want to produce high quality 3D characters. But using Mel will greatly speed, streamline and automate the rigging process. This can be done by mirroring attributes of say one arm to the other within a short period of time or implementing coding techniques such as using conditional statements, loops, variables, and other procedures, or by creating graphical user interfaces, which makes the animation part later quite easy, fast, and intuitive. Now, another impactful factor that makes Maya efficient in rigging is its support for some of the best plugins and add-ons in the industry. Plugins such as Ziva Dynamics, which is an industry leader in muscle simulation that is optimized for use in Maya. These plugins are compiled into binary files that can be loaded and executed within the software. You can simply drop the plugin into the plugin folder, click load, and suddenly Maya has access to new tools with the full speed of your machine. Mgear Framework is an excellent example of this. It is a rigging and animation framework for Maya, which provides a set of convenient modules, tools, and C++ solvers to streamline the development of rigging and animation tools. We have been using Mgear in Studio since switching to Maya and it has become an integral part of our 3D workflow. The speed we can get a rig to animators while continuing to finesse and rebuild it has been a real game changer, said Adam Avery, a rigger at Studio aka. This goes to show that Maya has the necessary infrastructure and APIs that allow developers to create custom plugins using compiled code to create specialized tools and workflows tailored to specific rigging requirements. One other reason that makes Maya more efficient when it comes to rigging is speed. Well, Maya is just fast. You might wonder what this performance has to do with the rigging process. Oh yeah, it does, big time. Maya shines the most when it comes to complex rigs, as it offers multi-threaded evaluation, which is the ability to distribute and process computations across multiple threads or cores of a computer's processor. In other words, it allows Maya to take advantage of the processing power offered by modern multi-core CPUs to perform tasks more efficiently and improve performance. And this substantially benefits the entire software, but it is quite critical when it comes to rigging. This feature enhances interactivity during the animation and the rigging process. Maya can dynamically update the scene and provide real-time feedback by utilizing multiple threads. This means that changes made to the rig or animation can be reflected in the viewport more quickly, allowing artists to have a smoother and more expressive creative experience. Also on a side note, one thing that keeps Maya the strongest player in the game of rigging and animation is the fact that it is what they teach at art schools and those students are the ones becoming industry professionals using Maya most of the time and they go to develop more tools and have more experience with the same software making it more efficient and even more powerful. It is like a vicious cycle that is hard to break. So art schools often collaborate with industry professionals and studios to design their curriculums. They ensure that students learn industry standard software like Maya, which is widely used in professional production pipelines. The curriculums include dedicated courses in 3D modeling, animation, and rigging, where students gain hand-on experience with Maya. Also, art schools often employ artists who have real-world experience with Maya and other industry standard software. These instructors bring their practical knowledge and insights into the classroom, teaching the students the best practices, techniques, and workflows used in professional settings. Also, these schools provide students with access to licensed software, which is most of the time gonna be Maya. This ensures that students can practice and develop their skills using the same software they will encounter in professional environments. Additionally, schools may offer resources such as online tutorials, industry-specific libraries, and training materials to further support students learning Maya. In addition, there are industry partnerships and internships. So many art schools establish partnerships with studios, in addition to production houses and industry professionals. These partnerships can lead to internships and other opportunities, where students can gain practical experience working with Maya in a professional environment. 
creating the perfect ecosystem for Maya to solidify its place as one of the best software or maybe the best when it comes to rigging and animation. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also take a look at some of our previous videos, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.